Hey Wilder folks, Alicia here. If you're feeling tightness through those quads after a big day out, then this combo is going to be for you. We're gonna follow the typical combo of moves that we do here to um, help mobilize a muscle. And what we are gonna do is start with rolling. We're then going to use the antagonist muscle, the opposite muscle, in order to stretch our focus muscle. We're then going to stretch our focus muscle and then use it through its new range of motion. So fun little format and we are going to follow along. So do it with me. You are going to need a foam roller, um, some sort of bench or wall behind you if you can. If you can't, I've got a way I'll show you how to do it without one. Um, and your quads. Make sure your quads are present for this one. Okay, let's get rocking and rolling before we forget where we're at. So we are going to start by rolling out our quads. Now rolling your quads can feel a little awkward. Um, there are a couple ways to make it feel less awkward. The first of which is to start with your other knee ahead of your primary muscle that you're, that you're rolling. And we're going to rotate that leg out to the side and back in. You're going to be rolling out more than just our quadriceps here. And there is a lot of musculature that's happening on the front of those legs. And we are gonna get all of it with this roll. Whenever you're rolling, 30 seconds to a minute is enough time. Always incorporate it, that rolling with some active movement afterwards to reap the most benefits. Good, now you're gonna to wanna to move backwards as you get close to the top of the thigh and stop before you get to kind of that dip in the front of your thigh where those uh, nerves and blood vessels are coming closest to the top. Once we get back there, we can roll out and we are going to actively use our hamstrings now to try and stretch those quads. So one leg's gonna come forward and you're gonna use your hamstrings, so these muscles in the back, to lift your heel towards your hand. Hold on slightly to bring it into a stretch for the quad and then let go. We'll do it again. Actively raise that heel to your butt. Whew, should cramp. No, it shouldn't cramp a little bit, but it might, especially if you're like me and you've been doing a lot of hamstring stuff lately. Good, bring that heel to your butt and then use your hand to complete that motion. We're gonna do 10 of those on this first side. You'll notice my pelvis is neutral here, so I'm not sticking out my butt, and I'm also not super tucking the, the uh, butt underneath, just staying neutral here. I shouldn't feel a stretch through the low back. If I do, I know that I'm a little out of my regular stance through there. Good. Two more. One more. Awesome, it is time to stretch those quads. And we are gonna do that in a simple standing quad stretch, but I've got a couple tips for you. If you need to use a wall or something for balance here, we're just gonna catch our ankle, bring ourselves into a neutral position. Pelvis is even, so I'm not hitched up or dropped down. And then from there, you might have a tendency to bring the knee out to the side and say, I can't feel this if you do. Set that pelvis neutral. Point your knee towards your other foot. You can either even bring it close to your standing knee. And then this is where our pelvis trick comes in handy. So what we wanna do here is we wanna take that pelvis, tilt it so that if it was a bowl holding water, water would be coming out of the back of it. We're gonna tilt that pelvis back and what that's gonna do is intensify the feeling of stretchiness that you get on the front of your thighs. Now we want to use our quads as we're stretching them. This feels really a good. So what you're going to do is press that ankle into your hand for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. And again, we're going to press into our hand for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. One more time, pressing into that hand. Three, two, one one and intensifying that stretch. We're gonna hold this for a couple more seconds and then we're gonna finish up with some active movement using those quads um, to, so that we kind of, you know, lock in that new range of motion that we found. So if you're doing this on your own, you can rewind the video 
so that we do both sides before we get to this part, but I'll do it with you now here. So what we're gonna do is start by standing on our knees. So where some padding underneath the knees will be nice. Keeping your hips extended here, so we're not hitching at the hip, we're keeping them totally extended. We are going to gently and slowly bring ourselves back down towards the floor and then come up and forward. You're gonna be using your quads like crazy to get yourself back up. Let's start with a couple of these where we just go a few inches and then come back up. And then we can start to go a little bit farther where you're trying to get your hips towards your feet and then come back up. Moving really slow with this, because if we were to dive bomb this movement, um, it is one where we've got a lot of force coming through those quads. So we need to approach it slowly. We need to um, go to where our limit is for today and be happy with that. Good, that was four. Remember to breathe when you're doing these. A breath on the way up is going to be helpful. Again. Wonderful. All right, so again, if you wanna take this from the top on side number two, I think you'll find even more benefit. I hope you have a wilder day and that felt great on those quads.